Okay, here's how I fabricated the drive-by-wire pedal for uh, the Vortex swap in a G-body. All right, here's the here's what your cable will look like right now, or your pedal. This will be obviously attached here. The carburetor attach, uh, attaches up here at the top, of course, and then it pivots on this block right here. So that's, that's what you want to do. I'm going to pull this C-clip out of the pedal. Take that thing off. You don't need that anymore. Hack this off. So now you got basically a an L up there. And then here's the pedal I was using, or I am using. This. It's obviously, here's the whole pedal. It's obviously on here like that. So what you do is you get your angle grinder out and you hack that off. Now you got a real short pedal. You want to make sure you it has this think this is a safety spring. There's already two springs on it. There's one going this way and one going that way. So they'd have to both break for it. Something bad happened, but you're gonna have to pop this spring because this thing has way too much tension on it with that spring on it. Anyway. Alright, now you got your L. Go down here and you drill a 3 8 hole on the side of there. And then you run your pedal through that hole. And then you go to the car. You mount this. This bottom hole lines up with the bottom hole on your block. And you're going to have to drill a hole back there in the back to match this one. You're just going to, not going to have to worry about this hole. There's not enough room. You'd hit this spring if you tried to drill it. Anyway, put, mount it back in the car. Screw both of these down tight like you'd be permanently mounting it, and then hold this all the way to the floor. Hold that all the way to the floor, and then adjust your pedal for maximum travel. And then mark it wherever you, wherever you determine the, the maximum travel is, mark it, you know, because this is going to have to move. You're going to have to figure that out. And then uh, just come back in here and, and uh, Tack weld it right there, or remove the whole thing. Tack weld it right here, and make, and then pull the whole thing out, and make sure that uh, you know, make sure that uh, it works. I mean, you don't want to permanently weld it and then go like this, and it doesn't go all the way to the floor. That'd be that would really suck. You just have to do it over again. So it'll hold good too. If you drill a hole through here and just tack it right here, it's not going to bend or break or anything. This thing's very, very sturdy. But that's how I did it.